actually just by serendipity where someone brought me samples, uh, especially of early wine and beer samples. There was a woman, uh, Virginia Badler, her husband teaches in computer science here at Penn as well, who came to me with what turned out to be the earliest wine vessel at the time. When she brought us this beautiful jar with a reddish deposit on the inside from a site up in Iran in the Zagros Mountains, it just made sense that we'd go ahead and try to see if we could determine whether we had chemical evidence that this was some of the earliest wine, and it did turn out to be the case. And then we just had one sample after another coming to us after that. We subsequently looked for the earliest barley beer from the same site in Iran. And we have projects now, you know, stretching across eastern Turkey up into the Caucasus, down into Lebanon, still looking at the DNA uh, of some of the earliest uh, grape remains, trying to reconstruct where it was first domesticated and how the wine culture developed. Okay, the oldest is the one from China. They found out that some of the earliest pottery in the world is found in China. We now have our earliest alcoholic beverage that's attested chemically from a Neolithic site dating back to about 7000 BC in the Yellow River Valley of China. And its name is Jiahu. And so here we have our recreated beverage that was done with Dogfish Head Brewery down in Delaware, which got a gold medal uh, at the Great American Beer Festival, which is the largest uh, beer festival in the world. This is uh, some of the residue from the, uh, the drinking set. So inside the drinking set uh, in the tumulus of Midas or his father Gordius, were, was residue, and it was excavated in 1957 by the Penn Museum. We got the samples, and we started doing the analysis, and that's when we determined that we had this uh, very unusual beverage. For the Midas beverage, it's a combination of honey, which was fermented to mead, barley beer, and grape wine. In the case of uh, Chateau Jahu, uh, instead of barley, it was rice. It's the first use of grapes in any alcoholic beverage known. There are more species of grapes in China than anywhere else in the world, and some of those have very high amounts of sugar, and so they would have been something that the people would be quite interested in. You know, sugar and alcohol are the two most sought-after foods of humanity. They would have, you know, sought, sought out these grapes and put them into this beverage.